everyone, it's Katrina. Number 10, the Messel Pit. Around 48 million years ago, thousands of animals mysteriously died in a deep lake near what is now the German city of Darmstadt. For some mysterious reason, the lake became a death trap for countless animals. Their remains were preserved by layers of clay and dead algae, and they sat untouched until the late 19th century. By then, the lake that had existed during the Eocene, when global temperatures and sea levels were much higher, was long gone. Miners arrived to the site in the middle of the forest, attracted by the fossil fuels, and carved out an open pit mine. It became known as the Messel Pit. The mine closed during the 1970s. The fossils inside were pretty much forgotten about by nearly everyone, except a small group of scientists and other activists who opposed turning the site into a garbage dump. They won the battle in 1992, and excavations have been ongoing ever since. Most paleontological sites are closed to the public, but the Messel Pit offers guided tours to visitors. An unusually large number of fossilized land mammals have been found there, and scientists still aren't sure why. They think that carbon dioxide from an underwater volcano may have bubbled up and suffocated all the creatures near the shore. It's also possible that the animals could have died from drinking water that contained toxic algae blooms, or may have been washed into the lake by nearby streams that drained into it. In any case, it is full of prehistoric creatures with their fur and even flesh still intact. There have been thousands of animals found at the pit, including 45 different mammals. Some of the most fascinating are an extinct squirrel three feet long and prehistoric pregnant horses. It's like a time capsule that allows scientists to reconstruct the world as it used to be. Number 9. England's Largest Sea Dragon Earlier this year, scientists announced the discovery of what might be the largest and most complete sea dragon fossil ever found in the UK. Measuring 33 feet long, the prehistoric creature lived around 180 million years ago. Paleontologists are calling it one of the greatest finds in British paleontological history. And there have been a lot of fossils found there. This sea monster was a type of marine reptile called an ichthyosaur that had a long snout and big teeth. It looked a bit like a modern dolphin, except scarier. While the species, scientifically known as Temnodontosaurus trigonodon, was already known before the discovery, this is the first time it's been unearthed in the UK. A conservation worker named Joe Davis found the fossil early last year while walking through the area with a colleague. They noticed what looked like vertebrae sticking out of the mud and followed the bones until they came across what looked like a jawbone, at which point the men knew they had probably discovered an enormous fossil. For now, scientists are continuing to study and conserve the fossil and will release their studies later on. Number 8. Strange Ancient Eel in 1890, a bizarre eel-like fossil was found in a Scottish quarry, leaving scientists stumped about what it was exactly. It lived between 398 and 385 million years ago, long before the first dinosaurs emerged into existence. The toothless creature, dubbed Paleospondylus gunny, measured just 2.4 inches long and may have had a cartilaginous skeleton along with well-developed fins, but no limbs. There have been numerous attempts to identify the ancient animal, with various studies suggesting that it was an early lungfish, a hagfish, or perhaps a shark-like species. But the truth is that scientists have been baffled for over 130 years since its discovery. And the one thing they can all agree on is that the mystery continues even though many more fossils of the species have been found. Experts have gotten one step closer to placing this creature in the evolutionary tree thanks to high-resolution imaging. Their findings suggest that the species could even be one of our earliest ancestors. The team determined that the creature's ear canal was constructed similarly to modern fish, birds, and mammals, making it more advanced along the evolutionary timeline than some species that are more primitive, like the jawless hagfish. Its cranial features place it in a group with all other four-limbed creatures, and even more shockingly, indicate that it could be the ancestor of all tetrapods. Lead study author Tatsuya Hirasawa told Life Science that the prehistoric fish is related to both vertebrates with limbs and fingers, as well as animals with limb-like fins. But it was probably more closely related to limb-bearing tetrapods, 
making it a close ancestor of the first creatures that walked on land. It's unusual that paleospondylists lack teeth and obvious appendages, but they may not have been fossilized. The specimens found may have been at a larval or a juvenile stage, or these features may have been lost due to evolution, according to Hirasawa. And while this species has not been definitively placed on the evolutionary timeline, the findings are promising. Number 7. Dinosaur Reaper Around 80 million years ago during the Cretaceous period, in what is now Japan, a dinosaur roamed around on two legs equipped with large knife-like fingers on its upper limbs. Based on a recently identified foot bone fossil, scientists have determined that it belonged to a group of bipedal, three-toed dinosaurs called Therizinosaurs. And while the species may have had terrifying claws like Edward Scissorhands, they used them for slashing vegetation rather than eating other animals. Although it probably didn't hesitate to use them to defend itself. The specimen, dubbed Paralithorzinosaurus japonicus, close enough, was found in 2008 on the northernmost Japanese island of Hokkaido in an area that is known for being rich in fossil deposits. At the time, experts believed it was a therizinosaur, but they had little to compare it to in terms of data. Since then, many other fossils have been found, making it possible for scientists to identify the scissorhands dinosaur as one that evolved later on during the therizinosaur lineage. Its specialized claws were a key indicator, as compared to the regular claws of earlier species that were not designed for any specific use. While it's impossible to know how large P. japonicus was, it's clear that the dinosaur was big and may have measured up to 30 feet long and weighed as much as 3 tons. Other therizinosaur fossils have been found throughout Asia and in North America. It's believed that the group adapted to coastal life at the time. Researchers are currently working to describe two other unidentified specimens that were found in Japan. Number 6. Demon Ducks Back in 1981, scientists discovered the charred remnants of prehistoric eggs that had been cooked in fires by ancient humans. The fossils date back an estimated 50,000 years. Some were identified as emu eggs, but others appeared to be the oversized eggs of an unknown bird species that scientists would spend the next several decades arguing over. What kind of bird were they? The ongoing debate narrowed the likely species to two contenders. A member of a group of large turkey-like birds known as progura, or the infamous demon ducks of doom, which go by the scientific name Genyornis. New research has proven beyond a doubt that the demon duck of doom was the winner. Also nicknamed Australia's last thunderbird, the intimidating bird stood at six and a half feet tall and weighed up to 530 pounds. Its eggs were also very large, with each weighing as much as three and a half pounds, and they would have been a great source of protein for indigenous Australians. There's even evidence that the human appetite for the creature's eggs may have driven it to extinction, according to the Natural History Museum in London. Researchers analyzed the ancient shell fragments using a technique called protein sequencing. Because the egg's DNA had deteriorated over time, it was a good alternative to genetic testing. The team compared the results to the genomes of modern birds and were finally able to put the 41-year-old mystery to rest. Would you eat a demon duck of doom egg? Let me know in the comments below. Number 5. Crocodile Face Dino one of the largest predators to ever exist was a massive crocodile-faced, spiny-backed dinosaur that lived around 125 million years ago in what is now England. Fossilized fragments of the newly discovered species, nicknamed the White Rock Spinosaurid, was found off the country's southern coast on the Isle of Wight. It has yet to be given a name, but it has been identified as the youngest Spinosaurid ever found in the UK. Equipped with a slender neck and sturdy arms, spinosaurids were carnivorous dinosaurs that roamed the Earth during the Cretaceous period. The newly described creature was related to the older, possibly amphibious, Spinosaurus. It measured at least 33 feet long and may have been Europe's biggest predatory dinosaur during its time. Few spinosaurid fossils have been found, making the group somewhat of a mystery to scientists. Experts believe that they most likely hunted in bodies of water, including lakes, rivers, and lagoons. It's unclear how they caught their prey. Some scientists think they actively swam in pursuit of their target, 
while others believe they waited and then snatched up their dinner using their long jaws. The discovery of the white rock Spinosaurid supports researchers' claims that Spinosaurids may have first evolved in Europe before spreading elsewhere throughout the prehistoric world. And while the creature was most likely very large, it wasn't immune to predators. Marks on its bones indicate that it was eaten by another frightening member of its habitat. Number 4. Ancient Giraffe Relative Around 17 million years ago, an extinct giraffe relative called Discocaryx shieji lived in what is now northwestern China. With a thick neck and skull, it was equipped for butting heads with rival males in competition for mates. In a new study describing the species for the first time, scientists mentioned that the animal's skull was topped with a layer of keratin that is also seen in modern head-butting species, including rams, bulls, and giraffes. The disc-like structure functioned like a protective helmet, making the creature prepared for hard impact clashes with its adversaries. Researchers believe that the newly described animals built in helmet and thick neck are traits that evolved specifically in males. They had high-crowned teeth that were ideal for chewing on grass, and isotope tests indicate that the species was likely an open land grazer. And while the creature may have been a distant cousin of today's giraffes, it wasn't a direct relative and has been placed on a different branch of the family tree. As part of this study, the team examined the headgear of other extinct giraffe relatives and found that the various species appear to have evolved these features specifically for fighting. Evidence suggests that modern giraffes got their long necks from the victories of past long-necked males who tended to win these battles. This idea has been around for a while. In fact, it was first introduced in 1996, and it flew directly in the face of Charles Darwin's widely accepted theory that giraffes grew long necks to reach the tree leaves they feed on. For now, the debate over how and why giraffes got their ridiculously long necks is ongoing, but experts insist that evolution likely played at least a partial role. Number 3. Bulldog-Faced Dinosaur Located in the Egyptian Sahara Desert, the Bahariya Formation fossil site is famous for being one of the world's most dangerous prehistoric ecosystems. Paleontologists recently discovered a vertebra belonging to a newly described carnivorous dinosaur that lived between 145 million and 66 million years ago, during the Cretaceous period. The creature came from a dinosaur group called Abelisaurids. Like other members of its group, it was bipedal, meaning it walked on two feet, and had a shortened face like a bulldog. While the yet unnamed species was large and intimidating, it probably wasn't at the top of its food chain, according to paleontologist Matthew Lamana, who spoke with Live Science about the discovery. A recently published study likens the dinosaur to a heavy-set Tyrannosaurus rex with stubbier arms. Researchers believe that it most likely measured between 16 and 20 feet long, making it a lot smaller than many of the other abelosaurids and other creatures that shared its habitat. In addition to similar dinosaurs, the creature lived alongside giant predatory fish, crocodilians, and marine reptiles that are all extinct today. Number 2. The American Cheetah after coming face to face with another male member of its species in a cliff cave in America's Grand Canyon around 20,000 years ago, a young cheetah lost the battle when he was bitten through the spine. He died from his injuries while his opponent left the scene. His remains, along with two other fossilized specimens retrieved from Grand Canyon caves, recently underwent a study to trace the lineage of the extinct American cheetah. Researchers determined that the species may not have been exceptionally fast runners like modern-day African cheetahs, but that they may have more closely resembled today's snow leopards. This would mean that they favored rocky habitats and ate mountain goats and sheep. When the fossils were first discovered, they were mistakenly identified as belonging to mountain lions. But scientists recently reanalyzed the bones and realized that they belonged to American cheetahs, which were closely related to mountain lions but had some characteristics more reminiscent of a modern African cheetah, including short snout and a slim body. The American cheetah went extinct around 10,000 years ago. Before then, it was found all over what is now the United States. Scientists even believe that the reason the modern-day pronghorn antelope can run so fast is because at one time, 
it was tasked with outrunning the American cheetah. None of this species' modern predators reach speeds even close to the antelope's maximum of 60 miles per hour. Yet experts figure that there must have been a reason that they are capable of traveling at such a high speed. The mysteries surrounding the American cheetah and the animals it shared its environment with continue as researchers gather more information. Number 1. Argentinosaurus Discovered in 1987 on a farm in southwestern Argentina, the Argentinosaurus genus of sauropods represents one of the largest known land animals of all time. It hails from the diverse Titanosaur family, which consisted of humongous sauropods that existed on every known continent, and many of which thrived up until the dinosaurs went extinct around 66 million years ago. Paleontologists can't seem to agree on exactly how big the creature was, with more generous estimates suggesting that Argentinosaurus was 100 to 130 feet long and weighed as much as 100 tons. But even the more conservative guess about its size, which put the dinosaur's length at 75 to 85 feet from head to tail and its weight at up to 75 tons, indicate that Argentinosaurus was one of the biggest animals that ever lived. Nobody knows for sure how large the dinosaur actually was because it's only known from fragmentary remains, leaving scientists tasked with making educated guesses based on the more complete remains of smaller sauropods. Argentinosaurus grew slowly, taking up to 40 years to reach its maximum size. Based on what experts know about other titanosaurs, it probably laid between 10 and 15 eggs at a time, each measuring up to a foot in diameter. Given its size, Argentinosaurus was likely a slow mover, plodding along at a maximum of 5 miles per hour. This would have made the species vulnerable to smaller but faster-moving carnivores that it shared its territory with, like Giganotosaurus, which probably couldn't take it down one-on-one, -on -one, but may have had strength in numbers. Argentinosaurus is just one candidate among several competitors for the title of the largest land animal that ever lived, including this list right here of names I can't pronounce. Thanks for watching! Which of these prehistoric creature discoveries shocked you the most? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time!